Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of BS for Build. In today's episode, we are gonna paint all the GTR parts correctly. Zero fails, we're gonna get it right this time. I know this because I filmed this in the future, a week after I started, because that's how long it took me to get it right. Before we get down to work, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe contacted me after they saw my video where uh, uh, you know a bunch of my bunch of my stuff got stolen, and I was saying I, I need a security system. Simply Safe is an easy to use, customizable home security system. It's an incredibly effective and reliable home security system, and it's all monitored by professionals 24/7 who will call you in case of an emergency or send the police if you need them. It's very easy and intuitive to install. We actually had a lot of fun doing it, and it's got a lot of really thoughtful features like reminders if you uh, leave your door open or things like that. It's also cool that it's got backups so you're equipped for like a worst case scenario. If you have a power outage or a Wi-Fi outage, the system will still operate. And they've set it up with some very fair and honest pricing with no contracts and no hidden fees. So when they contacted me, I did some research about it and it had all the features and functionality that I've always really wanted in a security system. Like I want, you know, interior motion. I wanted to know if doors or windows were breaking, um, you know, or anybody was entering through those things. I wanted a keypad that, that started beeping when you open the door. So people know like, oh, there's an alarm system here. It's not just a free for all. And I wanted cameras as well. We got all those set up in my house, uh, watching my cars and, and obviously protecting us inside the house uh, as well as at the shop. So it gives me a lot of peace of mind. I can remote in with my phone and check out anything as well so that's really cool we had a really fun time setting it up like I said it's a blast to learn the technology behind it and just play around with the tech while installing it and, and testing everything out it's, it's actually really fun so if you guys are looking for a security system for yourself for you know like a home or a garage or a shop like what I have it's a very versatile system and they will have an option that works for you guys it's it's really great it's reliable it's easy to install I highly recommend it so go check it out the link is in the description guys huge thanks to simply safe for sponsoring this episode let's get down to work The door's ready to go. We sanded out all the fish eyes and that's nice and smooth, ready to be reprimered. The bumper came out great. The primer's fine on here, but it's no longer within the respray window, so we need to scuff this all up. That way it uh, allows for the next layer of paint to adhere correctly. Bumper's all sanded down. We're gonna go ahead and respray this because we had way too many burn through spots. So that's gonna be reprimered as well. So the next thing we're gonna need to do, clean up the shop, wet the floor, and, uh, and then uh, wax and grease remover both these panels before we spray primer. Now I haven't been having great results with this primer. To be honest with you, I never really have. So uh, I decided it was time to kind of switch it up. I uh, called Trevor from Motion Auto TV and asked him what he's been using. And I got the primer that he's been using. So I'm gonna give that a try today on both these panels. Well, that primer is night and day over the last primer that we were using. We get a much smoother surface and it sands so much better. So huge thanks to Trevor over at Motion Auto TV for giving me the recommendation. This is now the primer I'm gonna use forever on every paint job. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, I've let this dry up overnight. I'm gonna hit this with some 800 grit sandpaper, block sand it out to make sure it's perfectly smooth before we do our base coat. Well, 
Okay, so we just wrapped up the base coat. Uh, it went very, very well. You guys might have seen that I sprayed a little bit and then I came back and I sanded it and, and you might have been wondering what that was. I was getting some fish eyes. Uh, so I, I did a couple tests with some different things, some different cleaning to see if it was contamination on the panel and it was not. Uh, so then I went and checked all my airlines, found out that I actually had one of those air filters was clogged up, not doing its job very well. So I cleaned all my airlines from the air compressor in the other garage and then uh, replaced one of my air filters and that very much helped the problem. So then I sprayed my base coat and we're all good. Now this is a three stage paint, so it goes base coat, mid coat, clear coat. And with those three stage paints, um, the mid coat, it just depends on how much mid coat the factory puts on. If it's one layer or two layers or three layers, etc. So what I have here is a spray out card. And this has just got the base coat on it right here. And I'm gonna go grab some mid coat, uh, put it in the gun, and I'm gonna spray one level here. Then I'm, once that dries, or one level on the whole thing, once that dries, I'll tape off a section, then I'll spray two layers, and then I'll tape that off, and I'm gonna spray three layers. And what we'll get out of this is uh, an example card of what it looks like with one layer, two layer, three layers, and then we'll go compare that to the car. That's kind of the moment of truth, because if this card doesn't end up looking like the paint on the car, then we, well, we don't have a good paint match, and I've made the mistake of not testing the paint on the panel, which I promised myself I wouldn't do again. But hey, let's gloss over that and get this thing done first, huh? Okay, so I got our card here and I actually had to throw on another coat. So we got one, two, three, and then four at the very top because the third one really didn't match up. So I said, what the heck, let's go ahead and do a fourth one. I have a color matching light down here that Astro Pneumatic sent me. Uh, I can't hold everything at once, but I can tell you that this fourth coat is the, uh, the closest match. It's somewhere, probably the sweet spot is somewhere in between um, the third and the fourth maybe. But it's basically the fourth. Once I throw this light on there, I wish I could, maybe I could tape it on there. Give me a second. All right, there you can see that it's, uh, it's definitely the fourth coat looks the closest. And keep in mind that this has gloss on it where that one doesn't, but when it was still wet, it looked a lot better. So we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and spray four coats of the mid coat. The only issue that I have is I definitely don't have enough of that mid coat uh, to do four coats on everything, but I'll just go buy more and uh, we'll make it work. Hey, fast forward, it's the next day, and uh, the pearl coat, the mid coat is what it's called, went on just fantastically. I did a real, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. We did a really good job of getting it on here nice and uniform. You're not seeing striping or weird patchiness or anything like that. Got it on there really nice and uniform. So the, the mid coat has a little bit of tint in it as well as, as the pearls when you look real nice and closely, which you probably won't be able to see on camera, there's pearls in there. Uh, anyways, two catastrophes happened right after this. First of all, Chelsea got in a little fender bender with the M5. She's okay, M5 not so much, so you'll see that in the channel in the next uh, few weeks where we repair that. Second of all, I did a larger color test. Here's the gas cap, and they're not exactly the same color. Really, really, uh, very, very close but not close enough. Kyle, who's been helping me out here at the shop, he actually lives at the shop house now, uh, brought me, uh, helped me take this door out to the car and we set it into the car and uh, there's a pretty obvious color difference. This color is a little bit warmer, a little bit yellower, um, and the door color ha has a little bit more, I would say, olive to it, a little bit more olive color. Again, very, very hard to see the difference on camera, but it's different. On the plus side, we didn't clear coat this stuff, so it's gonna be a lot easier to fix. Uh, but on the negative side, I'm a little bit frustrated with myself because this is a problem that I've ran into before. The whole idea of painting is, yeah, I'm gonna run into problems, but I should learn from my mistakes. So, again, Repeating to myself, you gotta spray a test panel when you're doing, when you're trying to spray and color match panels, you gotta spray a test card out and then match that up with your car before you do anything to make sure that your paint matches. Uh, the thing about painting, I wanna be really honest with you guys, is there are a ton, a ton, a ton of different steps. And if you miss any of those steps and mix that with a little bit of bad luck, so maybe you forget to clean a panel or don't double check your air, air cleanliness or your temperatures or anything like that, and then that thing happens to be the one thing that goes wrong, uh, you're gonna end up sanding out some bad work. And that's just what I've been learning about painting and, and there are a lot of steps. When you do it like me and you do it very infrequently, um, you know, cause think about it. I was working on subframes and suspension two weeks ago and then, and then now I'm, I'm doing paint. I, d I don't do it that often. Uh, it's harder to remember those steps versus somebody that works in a body shop and does them every single day. So that's, that's just the world of painting. So what do we do to solve the problem? Um, 
I just got a text message saying my swords from Disney World are here. Pretty stoked on that. Uh, anyways, uh, we can't blend these panels with the rest of the car because the panels are all over the car. That would mean we'd basically have to repaint the entire car, which we may have to do, uh, which I mentioned before. But uh, before we do that, I wanted to take another shot at it. So I've been using some paint from a company that, that also gave me the primer uh, that I didn't like. Um, and then I also used their base coat mid coat here. And so I figured, you know what, let's, let's try a different brand of paint. So this is the paint that Trevor from Motion Auto TV uses. It's also from the same company that recommended the primer. So the primer was great. I'm hoping the paint's gonna be too, good too. So I took the gas cap down to the paint shop. We matched it with a chip and then, uh, and I got the appropriate paint. So now, we're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna spray a test card, uh, multiple test cards like what you saw before with the multiple layers of the uh, mid coat on it. And let's see if it matches up with the car. All right, so here's our test cards. We got one, two, three, and four different layers of the uh, mid coat on here. We're gonna bring these over to the GTR and test them. You can see how they're all noticeably different from this panel here. Uh, let me show you the gas cap. When you bring the gas cap in, I really think that, well, it's extremely hard to see, but I think between it's really between one and two coats, uh, which is probably a good sign that our mid coat's gonna give great coverage, so that's awesome. Uh, but we'll go test them all out, and again, we're gonna use that uh, light that Astro Pneumatic sent us. This is a paint matching light, so it shows real true like sunlight color. All right, well this is showing up a lot different on camera than it is in person, but you guys are just gonna have to trust me. I'm thinking that number one is a match. I sprayed a little bit of clear on here on the card, so it would kind of uh, bounce the light in the same way. It's very, very, very close between number one and number two. On the camera, kind of whichever way you move the camera and the lights, one seems darker than the other, which isn't really true, but uh, number one, is very, very close, but then in some, sometimes number two is close as well. So that's a little bit tough. I think I'm gonna bring this card back down to the paint shop since I have to buy the full paint supplies everywhere and I'm gonna let the pros tell me which one they think is closer. So, uh, but we definitely have a color match, which means we've, we've saved our game plan. <laughs> so now it's off to the paint shop to buy full supplies. I'll bring this with, uh, with me and they'll tell me if I should do one coat or two. Back in the shop, the paint pros went with option number one, which is one coat of the mid coat, which is great. We'll have a lot more mid coat for the project. Uh, so it's time to go ahead and spray. This paint is not the same brand as the other paint, but we are within what's called the respray window. So we don't have to sand it up. It still is going to adhere, but I definitely want to be very careful. So I'll, you'll see me spray a little test strip of base coat over this stuff right over here uh, to make sure it's not going to have a reaction, do a bubble up or do anything crazy. Uh, so the only thing that I'm going to do is go over this really quickly, uh, look over it and inspect it. I'm going to clean it very well first um, and then inspect it. And then uh, with a piece of 800 grit sandpaper, uh, if there are any little dust nibs or anything that got caught in the paint, like see, oh, see that just wipes right off. But if there's something like that that's actually stuck in the paint, I'll go ahead and sand that off. And then we're going to clean this with wax and grease remover one more time. And then you're going to see me spray the new base coat. All right, we got our two coats of base coat and our one coat of mid coat, and I am super, super happy with the results. When I throw up this gas cap in here, uh, obviously camera sucks at co showing color change. Actually, camera's pretty good at showing color differences. Anyways, it, to my eyes, looks like a direct copy. So I'm very, very happy with how that turned out. Uh, so now it's just the last piece is of the puzzle is for the clear. So I'm gonna do uh, two coats of clear on these panels, and that'll be our first set of properly finished panels. Back the next day after the paint has had time to dry and I'm very happy with the result. It looks great, the finish is great, the amount of orange peel is absolutely perfect. Overall, just such a great paint job. Now, the only thing that I would say is we got a couple extra dust specks in the door 
I got lazy and let the, let the, um, let the, the, the water on the ground um, dry up because we're trying to keep a warm environment and uh, it, it dried up and I shouldn't have done that. So I'm gonna be better at that. But those little dust nibs, you can definitely sand those out um, if we wanna wet sand that panel. The bumper really doesn't have any of that because when you hang a panel vertically like this, the dust has a lot less spots to land on. But when you look like over here, like. We came out really, really well. So it may be an airflow thing too because we were sucking in air from that room, this nice warm air. And if it was coming in this way, it might have went straight towards that door panel. So that's something I'm gonna keep in mind as we move forward. But overall, we nailed it. The, the pearl coat, super, super uniform, uh, does not have any like, you know, tiger striping or any of the stuff that you normally worry about. Because what happens if you, you go down once, if you come back over that, it's actually gonna be a different color from here to here because you're doubling up on those pearls and the pearl has a tint coat to it. It makes it a different color. You guys probably saw that from the base coat to the mid coat. Anyways, we nailed it. Two panels down, we're gonna go ahead and set up just full on time lapse all day today. We're gonna do the wide body kit parts and the side skirts right now. I have no idea how that worked out. We had a uh, pretty serious failure in the air system, but somehow, luckily, because we were painting panel by panel, I was able to salvage it. It looks fantastic. It's probably one of the best clear jobs I've ever done. So it's a great paint job overall. Uh, but I'm gonna let that dry up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that room sealed off, not, uh, no contaminants coming in there. And I'll show you tomorrow and explain kind of what happened. It's kind of crazy. All right, it's the next morning. The panels uh, dried up great. Everything worked out really well. Last night while we were painting, uh, we had some weird issue with the airline and basically my air pressure would build and then drop and build and drop and build and drop. So uh, it did get way below freezing last night outside. So our ru a line running from the air compressor over to here could have like frozen with condensation in the middle of the line or something was constricting the airflow. Uh, and, and really got close, but it happened, luckily because I was spraying one panel, what I could do is I could just spray the one panel, and by the time I got through the one panel, I was running low on air pressure, and then I would wait for it to rebuild, and then go to the next, and I, I had to be very patient. The other thing that we changed is we put three layers of clear on all this stuff. Uh, it's gonna give me a lot more to, uh, to wet sand into if I want to, and, and buff out to get this, take it from or a little bit of orange peel to just like straight 100% smooth. So that's also an option if we wanna do it. Overall though, it looks fantastic. This is a fantastic paint job, and I'm really 
really, really happy with it. And I'm happy that we somehow managed to beat the weather conditions. So let's go ahead. These are already pre-drilled because um, we tested it on the car earlier. I want to bring these over to the car and we'll use some of our Clico pins and just see how they look. It looks so good. We got the bumper test fit on here. I mean, the bumper's just laying on here, basically. We got that there. The side skirt wasn't gonna fit because we'd have to uninstall the other one. But overall, I mean, this is just, this is so awesome. I'm so happy that we got a good color match. We got a great paint job. I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'm very pleased. And I gotta say, I just really like the look of this wide body kit. Like overall, it's gonna give the car just such a nice, like aggressive look. We got some 20 inch wheels coming on there. It's, it's gonna be a really good package. I'm, I'm very excited. And uh, with these pieces done, I mean, we're getting really close to the home stretch. All right guys, well, we got a good paint job that we can be very proud of. I'm very proud of this paint job. It is professional level quality. It just took me an entire week to get there. Most, most people it wouldn't. And I will say my, my, my paint choice that I switched to, or I switched to using PPG paints. I have no affiliation with them, no branding, no nothing like that. It just worked a lot easier than the paint I was using before. So that's my recommendation for beginners. Uh, paint to, to the brand to source from, that would be my recommendation at this point. It's what Trevor from Motion Auto TV uses, is what a lot of guys use, and, and I recommend it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. If you like what we're doing here, you like this build, you will not want to miss the next one. It's the most expensive, the most funnest, the most colorful build that I've ever bought before, and I'm very, very excited. It costs more than I have invested in my house, which is not a smart thing to do, but hey, be for build, right? Okay, I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace!